That bit of the sky due to go through the telescope beam at two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. December the 21st, perishing cold. And I switched on the high speed recorder and it came blip, 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 blip. Clearly the same family, the same sort of stuff. And that was great. That was really sweet. It finally scotched the little green men hypothesis because it's highly unlikely there's two lots of little green men opposite sides of the universe, both deciding to signal to a rather inconspicuous planet Earth at the same time using a daft technique and a, a rather commonplace frequency. It has to be some new kind of star, not seen before. And that then cleared the way for us publishing, going public. Martin Ryle called up the editor of Nature, John Maddox, and, and more or less said, we've got something interesting coming. Um, he didn't quite say hold the presses, but he nearly did. Now, the people here say that if they got three signals as exactly spaced as that, it would be very unusual. If they got four, it would be phenomenal. Well, they've had pulses as exactly spaced as that 24 hours of the day since November. Well, these signals that we're picking up are entirely new. Nothing like this has been seen in radio astronomy before. The excitement was because this was a totally unexpected, totally new kind of object, behaving in a way that astronomers had never expected, never dreamt of.